U.S. 19 days. Mm -hmm. I, I, I counted them. <laughs> I, I counted every single day, including weekends. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, we have final exams next week. So mm -hmm. I have been study, study, study. And Good. it's going to be nice to have a break after finals. Yes, yes, you deserve that. You yeah. deserve that. I know you work hard. And, um, and so, Mr. Moore, we've got... The yes. ep we've got the ep yes. episode um, two for the sibling sitcom that is doing very well. Please go to youtube.com <coughs> forward slash the sibling sitcom for our fabulous <laughs> sitcom. Like, I'm just loving it right now. <laughs> really. I watched it. The night it premiered, I've watched it 12 times back to back. If you thought episode one made you laugh, watch episode two. Yes. Because believe me, you will laugh and see. Yeah, and scene. <laughs> you will laugh, believe me. <laughs> and and um, we've gotten so many great responses for actors and actresses that want to be a part of our uh, uh, show, and also advertisers. Yay! Shout out. Yes. The lovely, lovely advertisers. I am telling you, wow. You know, a lot of people don't realize that advertisers pay for TV shows. And so, and you know me, I, I be hustling yep. and grinding, honey. I be like, we need <laughs> advertisers. So look, we've got um, some more shows that we are going to be airing. I'm so excited. And um, wow. Okay, so in, so we've got the Arts Reporter mm -hmm. and we've got the sibling sitcom, MimiJohnson.net and YouTube. So in um, February, we are going to be releasing... And airing MJTV Global News. With your mom? No. Now that's, that, that's, that's just the news. We're going to okay. do a news show. So I already cast our anchors. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Go yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Um, March, we're doing Natural Hair Quest with Iokeisha Smith, mm -hmm. which is our natural hair show. Uh, uh, we're going to be talking about maintenance and um, natural hair and styling, and it's going to be incredible with Iokeisha Smith, my hairstylist. Um, shout out. Um, and then uh, I think it's June, Epic Cooking. My favorite one. 
<laughs> with the diva and daughter that's going to be with my mom. Okay. We're going to do a cooking show. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're wow. good. And you know, you get to come on all the shows. We are going to launch the arts reporter, but I teen, okay. the teen yeah. arts reporter. But I know that you and Jasmine or, you know, when you get your when you get your breaks, I know you need your breaks. So what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate in the summer where you have time yeah. and we're going to release your show the teen Woo. arts reporter all right okay yeah then uh me and steve are always coming up with all <laughs> oh my god so we really got a lot of shows coming for you um to air on uh mjtv network just look out um I'm really, I'm really excited about being a television producer and network, television network owner. Um, We're going to build some generational wealth so we can just be able to have our children's 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 children, you know, just be able to um, have money and businesses and finance. And so I'm looking forward to that. I'm bringing my mom here. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go get my mom this week. And Joan Cartwright will be living with her little diva. The big diva will be living with her little diva. And so the Rialto, we are booked there for the diva and daughter experience with our band for black women in jazz. That's going to be off the meter. Oh, God. We're doing like a 30-minute set for the diva and daughter with me and my mom. And I'm going to tell you right now, when we get on the stage, it is powerful. It is um, an experience that I always, always adore. Um, and so I'm looking forward to, uh, my mother and I are very close, of course, like yeah. you and your mom. And you and your mom. Oh, We're mommy lovers. <laughs> like, we love our mothers, like, totally. Um, and so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So the Rialto, March 1st. The Diva and Daughter Experience at the Black Women in Jazz. Log on to blackwomeninjazz.com. Shout out to Shay Shay, um, one of the promoters and the event coordinator. So um, with that being said, um, Mandela, we love you. I just want to give a moment of silence. Yes. Thank you so much for being in our lives and um, helping people to understand that what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And he made a great impact, um, such as other leaders, in human rights. Yeah. Not so much about black or white, but about just human rights. All over. All, uh, us as humans, yeah. we all have rights to live and be happy, create wealth have good health, and um, he fought for that. But equal, being equal all around the board. E he sacrificed. Equality, yes, yes. He so I, I, I totally, totally um, love Mandela, and I know he has ascended now, but he left a great legacy. Yes, he did. He left great inspiration and, um, you know, teachings. And um, I just had to give a shout out to Mandela, uh, Nelson Mandela, rest in peace. And we know that you are our guardian guardian angel now. You're he's he's gonna move more in spirit than he ever did on earth. Yes, he is. Yes, indeed. So with that being said, we're gonna go to a commercial break. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurship, and inspirational life stories. Every Wednesday at seven PM it goes down right here. Yeah, we'll be right back. Mwah.
the Williams family, the matriarch, Tyra. Hello, world. The baby, Mimi. Tyra. Hey, world! <laughs> the siblings, sitcom. Meet the Williams family. Meet the baby, Mimi. Hey, world! Meet Junior. Hello, world. Hey, Junior! Hey, Mimi! <laughs> Meet Vanessa. Hi, Mimi! Hey, Junior! Hey, hey Vanessa! Ha! <laughs> ha! She's having a vision. The Siblings Sitcom. Oh, hi, world! Yeah, the sibling sitcom. I'm gonna get you on there, girl. So you could. This is Sharon Willingham, epic uh, domestic violence survivor, thriver. Um, we're just gonna do a recap real quick, and then I want to know some of the new things you have because you got some. We had a meeting at my office, and wow, we were powwowing. Yes, yes. And and it was wonderful. We ate dinner. We we were gonna get a bottle of wine, but that didn't happen because we started getting so much into just yes. all of the energy that we had. It was like we don't need no wine. We were on a natural high. Yes. yes How yes, you yes. doing? All is well. All is well. Good. I want you to speak up now because I know you see she prissy. She's a di she diva. You just say all is well. <laughs> Nah, no. All as well. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, girl? Well, I I have her a book this out now. Yes. Um, it's a collaboration of uh, twelve authors, and if you go onto my Facebook, you'll see uh, some of it where we're promoting that book. But um, just very um, proactive of about domestic violence and. I uh, want to talk and share a testimony of what I went through in my life. Yes. And that it may help other women, and, mm -hmm. and men and men and women. Mm -hmm. So um, that's where I'm at right now. Okay. Is, is this it here, Walking Your Purpose? Yes, it is. Okay. Yes. And um, compiled by Dr. Lily L. Jenkins, it says um, how women defied the odds and succeeded in business, ministry, and life. Let's talk about that defying the odds. Well, there's a lot of different stories in there, but mine in particular talks about the domestic violence and what I went through and uh, uh, overview of my life because I was married for 27 years mm -hmm. in the domestic violence. And so, but it, it tells how we overcame what we what we went through mm. and how God, um, how we can, how we're standing right now. Mm -hmm. and so that's, that's pretty much sums it up. And every story is different. Mm -hmm. Every woman has their own testimony of what they went through in their life. Yes. Now you're on page 77 and, uh, and you are, the name of your story, number seven is Silent No More. Um, and so, I, uh, now where can everyone purchase the book? You can purchase it through me. I have copies, or you can go on our website on my um, Facebook page, actually. Mm -hmm. And then you can, um, there's a link, and you can purchase it through the link as well. Mm -hmm. And we also have a, um, in February the 8th is the launch date where all the, all the uh, women will come together, and we'll have a um, launch of the book as well. February 8th. Yes. What day is that on? That is on a Saturday, and it's at the Mary Mac um, it's downtown, I believe. Yeah, Mary Mac. But if you go on the Facebook page, it has it had all the information and where you can buy the tickets and um, the book as well. Okay, because you know I'm going to be there. You know I'm yes. going to be there for that. February 8th, yes. um, Mary Mac, yes. and um, Walk in Your Purpose. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So... Let's talk about how you feel when you express, you know, um, like give people information on your past and the reactions that people get. Well, a lot of the reactions is because it's, it was 27 years. And, and I tell people it's everyone's timing, so don't judge people how long they mm -hmm. stay in because we stay in for a lot of different reasons. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is that we walk away and we have the power to, once we say it is enough, we walk away 
And um, so I encourage everyone that if they're in a violent situation, even uh, not even if they're being abused, whoever it is, just walk away. And there are so many resources out there to help you uh, through it. You can. There's a lot of shelters. There's hotlines. So I encourage you to walk away because um, it's only going to get worse or you'll wind up being dead. And give everyone your email so that they can um, contact you. Email address is Sharon.Willingham at Yahoo.com. And my Facebook page is Sharon Willingham. Mm -hmm. And you're so cute and pretty. I can never see how anybody would want to hit you. If anything, I would want to be like, look how pretty she is. <laughs> you have such a great <laughs> spirit and demeanor. And you mm -hmm. and I have become friends. And uh, I don't invite people to my home, but I knew that you and I would have this this bond. And we see each other at yes. other events yes, as we well do. We do. that, um, you know, that really make a difference because we are uh, human rights mm -hmm. activists yes. and we're an activist for everything, yes. Yes. for everything. It's like, oh, I'm an activist for that too. And you're like, so am I. And yes. and that's really yes. good because the connection, uh, especially with me being in media mm -hmm. and creating a platform that is positive influential TV, um, gives people like yourself, I give people like yourself a chance to tell your story and you give me opportunity to have good content that matters. Yes, yes. You know? So, okay, now you've got a foundation that you're building. Do you want to talk about that publicly or because I know they, but it's so inspiring to me. It is. It is. Um, we have an organization. It's actually um, a CDC. It's um, Directions Youth Family and Housing Services CDC. Yes. And what we do is we provide information, services, and education. But one of the main things that we're doing with the, um, the organization is a CAR program where we want to help um, women who are in domestic violence, who've come out of domestic violence because they actually have to leave everything. So we want to help them yes. rebuild their lives. And one of the things is transportation is necessary when they're rebuilding their lives. So that is one of the programs that we are currently working on. Mm -hmm. We will um, have some fundraiser events as well as we're looking for sponsors and we're looking at do uh, looking for donations as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know I got to be all up in that in the events you know yes. I just want to host and build um raise money because yes. y'all know how I am about all of the causes y'all know what it is we got to raise money that's the only way that we can do what we do is with money and I know you know a lot of people be like oh well I mean you got a dollar five dollars ten dollars if we get um 500 people to donate ten dollars yes. we yes. can put on a fabulous event help other people and bring awareness yes. so you make sure you send me that link because y'all know y'all already know i'm posting it everywhere yes. for, for 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 people to go and donate yes. and um of course you know i will sponsor all of your advertising yes. so you know that's automatic yes. and so um do you have any now this event this event on february 8th is for the book yeah that's for my book but you yes. have something else going go yes. ahead and um we haven't said a um a date, it's definitely a date, but um, at the end of February, there will be a teen domestic violence mm -hmm. um, uh, event that we're putting together to raise awareness for teen domestic violence as well. So That's Teen Domestic Violence Month? Yes. Yes. It is. It is. It is. Okay. And if you want, I will host that and I'll bring my yes. teen arts reporter to host that with yes. me. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to charge you. Because y'all know I charge. <laughs> well, that's okay. They that, know it. But, you know, God always blesses them. Of course. Yes, thank you. Definitely, thank definitely. You. definitely. Yeah. And and I always give. I am a giver. That's why I receive so much, yeah. though. And that's, that's the whole principle of giving. That when you sow, 
you have to read back mm. because that's a principle. So yeah, yes, um, I believe in that as well. Yeah. And um, so don't go anywhere because I want to, you know, get you back on at the end of the show. You know, I like to bring everyone everyone back on, but give some last minute, uh, last minute, you know, words of inspiration. I just would like to. Um, Tell anyone who is involved in it, please um, get out. Um, it's imperative because um, if you don't, it would you eventually will find yourself either hurt really bad or or killed. Mm-hmm. And um, but most importantly, it's it's all about rebuilding you and rebuilding yourself. And once you get out of that situation, you become free. Mm-hmm. And so I say today that I'm free. I'm free from all the stress because it does cause stress and it does cause heart attacks. But most importantly, you're free in your mind. So I just want to encourage you to get help. Yes, yes. And love yourself. Love yourself. I think it being in love with myself, it makes it absolutely 100% that nobody can can abuse me right. in any kind of way. Right, and it's a process for them because they actually, when you're in an abuse situation, you don't feel that way. So mm-hmm. it's a process. It's a rebuilding process mm-hmm. of someone. Because you look, you said, I look beautiful, but inside you don't mm-hmm. because someone has beat that or someone has told you that for such a long time, you begin to think that literally in your mind. And how you feeling about yourself now, Miss Sharon? Oh, I'm a diva. <laughs> no. I feel really Yeah, bad. that's what I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, yes, yes, yes. 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 And yes. loving yourself every course, day. Don't put the necklace down. That's all I got to say because you, you you might not get to see that oh, necklace okay. no more. That's a nice <laughs> necklace. Thank it's you. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Always trying to take something. <laughs> you can have it if you uh, want. Oh, I would love to wear it for a photo shoot. Sure, I got a sure, photo shoot coming sure. up for 2014 at the end of this month. I would love yes, to wear sure. that. Yes. All right, y'all heard it. Yes. She's going to accessorize me. Yes. All right, so we're going to go to a commercial break. We got to pay some bills. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Every Wednesday, it goes down right here. And we are fighting domestic violence every single day. Mwah. We'll be right back. Get my, I have to get that rocking and rolling. Al, how you doing, Al? Good. How that, you doing? Y'all know I love my Al for your television show. Contact I like it live.com. What's going on, Dabria? Are you all right over yeah, here? <laughs> KD Brogia is in the house. I'm here, officially back in ATL. Uh, the hair looks absolutely <laughs> amazing. You, Whoever your you. stylist is. Well, uh, it's homegrown, baby. That's, uh, that's homegrown. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You remember when I first started these? Like yes. 12 years ago? Yes. Years ago? Um, you're an a extremely, extremely talented, talented artist. Wow. And is that how you feel? Or is that you're you reading from a cue card? Is that something? Nah, that's yeah. I don't have yeah. no cue card. Not on this set. Not on this set. All right. okay. No, that's all coming from it. me. Thanks. 
happened. Knowing because it was what, 2006, 2007, yeah. you yeah. are on one of my songs, Hood Love. 2006, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Everyone loves that song. It's actually on one of the commercials. You'll get to hear it. It's on one of the commercials. I don't know. I don't know which one. Um, but I, I, it's at MimiJohnson.net at my contact page, Hood Love Plays. And um, your voice is so amazing. Thank you. Thanks. So yeah. where are you from? I'm originally from Mississippi, Florence, Mississippi. Yeah. And uh, I made my way to Atlanta, and then from Atlanta to Japan, and from Japan to L.A., and now I'm back in Mississippi. <laughs> right. And my mother saw you overseas, I believe. Yeah. Moms came and sat in at, at Humble House while we were in, uh, that was in uh, Shinagawa, Shinagawa, Japan. Yeah. She came in and sat in, and it was Lovely. Yes, Lovely. yes. She loves you. She's yeah, like, likewise. oh, let him know that yeah. I, I said, hey, <laughs> you know, my mom is like real like, oh, God, uh, so well, uh, uh, world renowned. So for her to love you because, you know, she's like, ah, oh, that's all right. That's all right. But she really enjoyed your performance. She enjoys your music. You. Let's talk about um, when you when did you start writing? Well, first of all, the, the fruit doesn't fall too far from the tree. Yeah, never. Okay. All right. John Cartwright right. right, Jr. right here. <laughs> JohnCartwright.com. Yeah. I got to plug my mom. Right, right. Okay. You, you, you got to know moms in order to know this one, though. So right. That, I mean, it, it's like a, a trickle-down process. Yes. So, so. But, uh, yeah, I actually started writing. Uh, it's funny. When I was uh, in church, I would be in church trying to write these little love letters for girls. And, uh, you know, roses are red, violets are blue, I see your hair and I want to date you. Like crazy little stupid yeah. stuff. So it, it basically manifested itself from that. And then uh, once I actually got into musical backgrounds, playing in the band, then I actually started writing it to lyrics and writing it to notes. And it just, one thing led to another. So that's how I lyrically started. But I can't, I don't know if I can actually put an authentic age or a specific age to okay. it. Okay. I, I know it started in church while I was in church. So maybe five or six, you know, six, seven. That's when you kind of learn how to uh -huh. write and formulate halfway pure thoughts so <laughs> halfway pure, pure thoughts. thoughts i love that <laughs> yeah. yeah okay and so um when was your first time performing in front of an audience oh i, I remember that i was actually three years old when i started singing and performing in wow front of yeah uh it was an interesting process it was with a male chorus and uh we would go around in various cities around various states and perform it was really awesome mm -hmm. really awesome Gabrielle? Um, I have to say, what inspired you to start, you know, besides the writing, to, you know, lyrically start in music? Why are you so articulate? Oh, my God. Yes, she's oh, the teen God. arts reporter, honey. Oh, God. Okay. Will you marry me? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, articulation. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I think it was just, I, I was always singing, and I knew that I had, I knew that I was different as a kid. I always knew that from the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a child. I am a child prodigy, so that within itself kind of set me apart from a lot of my peers. Because <laughs> what kids at three and four years old can actually formulate full sentences as a you know as well as then singing with other grown individuals? Mm -hmm. So I think that within itself is what helped send me in that direction. Uh, I've always been an independent, independent soul. So I think. It, it was just a natural, my parents allowed me to manifest myself through vocalization, through singing and music. So it was just, it naturally occurred. It was something that's natural, like trees in spring, you know, they yeah. just naturally bloom. So yeah. I think I just naturally bloom. And I, and I, I'm like that as well. I've been Very on stages. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's great. I can't wait to give her her own show. Oh, it's coming. Where, where are you from? Let me in, let, let's interview her. Where are you from? We ain't got that kind of time right <laughs> <on> now. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's so amazing. It's to be about you. Yeah, they I, know I just, about her. <laughs> I'm amazed, man. I mean, she's like talking. She's real astute. You can yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. 19 days. <laughs> so look, um, I, yeah, because I, I understand that um, being on stages since I was a child myself, yeah. and I can't live without being on stage or in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. It's just my passion. I learned how to make money doing it. You so, know what I'm saying? Because that's just it. 
Let's talk about the business side because that's so very important. Um, a lot that's where the starving artist, um, and Mimi Williams on the sibling sitcom, I play a starving artist. <laughs> uh, don't know nothing about no business. Just know that I'm cute. I can sing. I can act. But who cares? Because at the end of the day, everybody can sing, act, and dance. I'm what you call a triple threat. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, my business side of me, though, is is 90% of who I am. That other 10% Mimi Johnson, that's the fun part, right? right? right. So uh, how do you feel about, you know, your business side of you? Well, in all seriousness, I, I think uh, something if, th that you said is something that's often taken for granted. Anybody, and a lot of people feel that they can sing, or a lot of people feel that they can dance, a lot of people feel that they can act. There's one thing being able to do it. There's another thing as opposed to doing it proficiently. Yes. And I think that that's where a lot of people underestimate the true uh, aspect and the true art of the fine arts. Um, the thing that I've, all, I've always prefaced and, and put as a number one was doing it to the best of my ability, which meant that I had to study the history of my music, the mm -hmm. genre that I wanted to be in, but not only as well as my genre, I studied country, I studied classical arts, and I, I mean, I'm not a music major, but that was something that I took it to the next, next aspect of studying to be a better performer all around, because mm -hmm. I wanted to know. So business-wise, um, musically, uh, I think once I had those things locked down and I was able to know who were the writers and where were they writing, where were they coming from, where are artists being developed in ATL, where are they being developed in Los Angeles, where are they being developed in New York, then I knew, okay, those are places that I probably need to get to or find references uh, of, of being able to send my music to or my uh, lyrical content to, to shop around. And business-wise, you have to know what's going on outside of where you are. Mm -hmm. It's great. I'm from Mississippi, and that's a lot of gospel artists come from Mississippi. But I didn't want to do gospel, gospel music. I wanted to do another type of music, so I had to get outside of the box. And mm -hmm. that's another thing that I encourage a lot of artists to do. Step outside of your normal paradigm. You know, there are things outside of Atlanta. There are places outside of Atlanta. And lo and behold, if you go and search for those things, you're going to find yourself. Because that's that's a part of, uh, of you know stepping outside of the box. That's when people normally come to themselves. The prodigal son, if you want to talk about that, I mean Jesus, he walked, he went around the world in order to come back to the one place where he was persecuted. So I mean, we can use all types of references. Uh, Socrates, uh, Shakespeare, those guys never stayed at home. They, I mean, they were from the UK, but they traveled all over the world. Right. So okay, you know. Okay, and so you're going to sing a song for us because I got to get my performance in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to be entertained, too. Yeah. Um, but you have a show that's coming up at uh, Hush Lounge. Yeah. That is going to be Thursday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, the, yeah, 12th, the 12th. And um, you're going, and you're, you're, the name of your tour is? Truth Be Told. Okay. No, Truth Be Sold. I'm Truth sorry. Be Truth Be Sold. Truth Be Sold Tour. Yeah, I just did a show called Truth Be Told. Anyway. That's okay. Truth Be Sold Tour. Uh -huh. And it's like S-O-U-L apostrophe D. Uh -huh. Truth Be Sold. And you are performing with Mello Kane. Mello Kane, my, my left hand. Uh -huh. yeah, so. And he's going to be coming in a few That's minutes. Right. We're going to interview him. <laughs> and he's going to perform right. as well. That's so right. let's take a commercial break and get you ready for your performance. All right. Any last words? And please plug your website. Absolutely. First of all, I want to send a shout out to Prodigy Entertainment uh, and my management company. Thanks to all my supporters, my friends, all my brosiacs. Yo, we're keeping it real. Stay tuned. Yeah. Please come out, uh, any of my friends here in ATL that want to come out to the Truth Be Told tour at Hush Lounge tomorrow night. Doors open at 9 and uh, show starts at 10. We'll yeah. see you. Yeah. Good. All right, so we'll be right back right after these messages. KD Brogia is going to sing for us. Mwah. Be right back.
It's a good day to be alive. Trim is night time meets the day. Just hold on, you'll find your way. Love is it. Yeah. it seems so far away. Just make it through the day. You can make it, just hold on. Hey, young girl, don't you give up. Said you didn't think about the price you pay for living with them So you need to think about what it means to give yourself away What you got is so precious Now you're sitting there all alone in the doctor's office Can't see nine miles down this dark and lonely road As God as my witness Baby girl, you got a choice to make Oh, love is it Sure is night time meets the day Just hold on, you'll find your way Love is it But it seems so far away Barely made it through the day Excuse me, brothers, there's no need to put your hands on her. And how come fathers, we find it hard to take care of the children we make. And oh, you want sweet mama, I play the game of prostitute. Is it worth getting my name just to lose your soul? And by the way, sisters, you look good with your clothes on.
And every time I'm with you, my heart starts racing, ooh, ooh. Yeah. So look, ah, Benita. Hey. Benita Applebaum, you really <laughs> turned me on. <laughs> this is one of our advertisers, so epic, Tar TV advertiser, a specialty basket.com. Mm -hmm. You know, people love pretty things, yes. nice things, things that are gift wrapped. Yes. This is your season. This is. And I want to help you sell a million baskets. That's what I'm working on. Aspecialtybasket.com. You've got great prices. Yes. And you've got great content in your baskets. Where are you from? Originally from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Moved okay. here uh, when I was 12, and that was 34 years ago. Okay, so okay. Been here long enough. Been here long enough. Yeah. And what inspired you to do this kind of creation? Because I, clearly you are a creative when you do this type of artistry. I love doing that. I've always been a crafty person. And one year my sister sent me a basket to my job for a birthday gift. Okay. And it was horrible. And I called her and I said, hey, thank you for the basket. I said, but they mixed up bath stuff and food stuff and the peppermint smells like jasmine and it's just not working. I yes. said, so thank you for the basket, but call these people and get your money back. And then I just started thinking about it and I went out maybe a couple of weekends after that and brought some items and just started playing around with it and, mm. and found that visually I can really put together something nice so I decided to start putting some things together yeah because this is beautiful now in Thank this you. basket you've got some smell good it's purple you represent it for um our domestic violence show purple yes. is life you've got now what is that this is this is body cream uh -huh. we have um foaming body wash okay. we have body mist okay one of these nice little things you do like this on your back oh yes I oh I love those things love go those ahead things have a, a nice big uh, vanilla scented candle, yes. a little body loofah, a little pumice for the feet. Can't yes. Feet can't and uh, the little body sponge to wash off with. And what's that thing, best friends? Is that just like a little note or something? That's a little note. I actually did a basket similar to this for two girlfriends. One of her friends, uh, one of my friends was having a kind of a bad day and I yeah. was talking to my other friend about it, trying to think of something nice to do for her. So she sent her a basket very similar to this. Yes. Uh, so she would feel better. What What is this basket going for? Uh, this basket is 45 uh, That's not bad. All of that inside of there. And it's it's what you call um, durable product. Yes, and handmade ribbon. I make all my own bows. Aww. And you know, I have to post this somewhere up on my wall. I got I got walls that I just post stuff, <laughs> bowls and all kinds go. of um, um, flyers and mm -hmm. posters of the shows that I'm in and all of that. There I, you go. Yeah. So, in on, as a businesswoman, yes. does this work for you? Unless, and I want to know why. It works for me. Um, it's not my full time business yet. I'm working towards that. I've yeah. set a five year goal for myself. It works for me because it helps take care of the creative things that I like to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I have three daughters, and I do a lot of baskets for their friends, and they give me good ideas of what teens yeah. are going in, are looking into, what yes. they're interested in. And also, I, my husband's friends hit me up for Christmas and Valentine's Day, so I have kind of an instant market there because they don't want to, not trying to be funny, they don't want to be bothered with that. So they know they can call me and... I will put together something very nice for them to give to their wives or their girlfriends. Mm -hmm. And I know you got the um, holiday season yes. things going on and yes. the different colors of the red and the greens and the whites and all of that. So everybody yes. can log on to aspecialtybasket.com. It's up there on the um, slideshow. We're going to leave that up there um, for your entire interview so okay. people can. And and also in the reel, you know, you're, you're also in the reels, um, the commercial reels that are running as well so 
give some give some advice as to being a creative i know my advice is always to know your business understand negotiation marketing branding is so very important and you definitely know that because when i called you and said would you like to get some first of all i had to book you on the show because i love my entrepreneurs i love you all so much you are inspiring to me because as an entrepreneur it's it, this is this is like people be like oh i got a nine to five job i'm like yeah. honey please yeah. you get to go home and chill after your nine to five job this right here that this is 24 hours seven days a week i don't take a break i was closing advertising deals on the thursday for the thanksgiving I was closing advertising yeah. deal. Yeah. They were like, Mimi, you're working? I'm like, yeah. I mean, literally, um, I'm in my office at night, probably probably until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Then I get up the next day and go to work. A couple of some weekends, I'm in my office all weekend, and I'll tell my husband, tell my daughters, hey, mommy's going to be downstairs in the office. If y'all need something, come downstairs and get me. Because that is my, this is my passion. This is what I really mm -hmm. want to do. This is the thing that that gets me excited yeah um i put something together i'll show it to my husband show it to my kids what do y'all think about this they'll give me suggestions so although it's my business they're a big part of the business too helping me with the creativity yes. um you know cheerleading me on and making sure that if i have an idea that it comes to fruition mm, i just gotta say on tv i love the hair thank you very much the hair is fabulous okay <laughs> i'm like yes hair um, so what would be some advice that you would give to our upcoming entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs that, you know, people that are like me, um, you know, uh, well, say my age, 48 years old. Oh, I got a birthday, y'all. Uh, uh, December 23rd. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'll be 48. You know, people are in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s, and they're like, wow, I want to live my dreams, I w but they're afraid. What would you tell them? I would tell them that fear helps. Um, you're afraid that when you go and start looking for information that you aren't going to be able to find what you need, but it makes you look a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. It makes you go after resources that you might not particularly think would be a resource. Mm -hmm. And it gives you that inspiration to keep doing what you want to do. When I first started doing this, I actually called other gift basket companies to find out um, if I could get some information, if they could maybe give you, and nobody wanted to help me. So I went out and found my own information, found my own resources, uh, and just kind of did it on my own. Mm -hmm. And I actually have other people that I partner with uh, for various things, people that were willing to help give me information. I have other gift basket companies where if I get a big order and I'm not able to take care of some other orders that I might get after that, I can reach out to them and we have a nice network going Good. to work together. That's great. A specialty basket dot com um well you know my birthday's coming up steve and i'm um, gabriel you know my cast y'all gotta go in and buy me something well, I, I know what kind of basket you want how much you charge to make a fried chicken basket yes <laughs> and, and, and see this little bottle here oh my goodness actually, actually instead, i did instead, bring this for you instead of that having being, me on the show that I needs to be a bottle of hot thank sauce you. with a little gold ribbon on it okay i got you I for got sure you. <laughs> thank you is I'm, I'm i'm getting ready to call her out <laughs> is this mine as well it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you some some extra advertising. Actually, you did tell me the last time that we talked that you had a birthday coming up in December, and I did bring this for you. Oh, my God. I'm still going to give you some extra advertising, though. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Aspecialtybasket.com. Yeah, I like the basket with the chicken in it. Y'all know I love chicken. And I, <laughs> you can make it any kind of way, girl. I will eat some chicken. But this is a <laughs> deep fried. Yeah, yeah, please. With, we have with, had deep fried with just, with, with just, oh yes. Yeah. With, with just a, a tad bit of Cajun seasoning and just a tiny sprinkle of some curry. And we'll deep, be good to go. And give it a, a grease bath about this deep. And and, <laughs> and, and put it in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a couple of biscuits up in there. Hey, specialtybasket.com. <laughs> Look, we have another performer, and we have one more interview, and Al is already going to be like, oh, God, she's going over time again. But um, I just want to thank you so much for thank supporting you. the Arts Reporter, um, giving me my first birthday. This is my first birthday gift. Okay. And, right. and um, this right here, the sparkling cider, 
um, I will drink this and, and uh, I, I'll get a buzz off of life. But <laughs> <laughs> you won't get it off of life. <laughs> but I'll get it off of this. Right? <laughs> right. That's okay. But thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Um, please make sure you log on aspecialtybasket.com. Get your baskets. Reach out to Benita. Benita Kilpatrick. Yes. And we love you so much. Thank you so much Thank for coming on the show. We're going to have you on next year. We want to just keep you good, keep people updated okay. to watch you grow as an entrepreneur to one day have your own building. Working on it. You know what I'm saying? With your own assembly line. <laughs> Aspecialtybasket.com. We'll be back right after these messages. Mwah. Welcome to Mark Square Studios, where we offer great prices and outstanding accommodations in one convenient location. Hot, hot studio. Make sure you do that. Fashion photographers and filmmakers now have an ideal space for professional in-studio shoots. So photographers and filmmakers, sign up now and unbox your Mark Square membership today. Welcome to Mark Square Studios. Hey, 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 Mellow Kenny, that's all right, you can drink on set, it's all good, see, look, um, <laughs> it's okay, so um, 
I gotta give a shout out real quick. This is Mellow Kane. He's getting ready to sing for us in a little bit. You are on tour with KD Brogia. Give everybody your website real quick so they can go. Hit me up at mellowkane.com. Mm. M e l o k a n. Right .com. and 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 kdbrogia.com. And so we have Diva JC, my mom, who is like my biggest supporter ever. Ever since I was a little girl, she was always just so, um, like, getting me training and paying for classes and coming to my shows. And um, I would go to her show. She had me in the clubs at, like, 12, 13 years old, singing okay. with the band, okay. sitting, sitting all the way in the back in the smoky clubs. And then when it was my turn, I got up there and sang my <laughs> one song, Billy Holiday, A-flat, God Bless the Child. That was my okay. signature song. Okay. Okay. And a shout-out to Bird. How you doing, Bird? We hey, love you Bird, so much. Up? Thank you for joining us. All right, Mello. Where you from? L.A. L.A.? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been, you know, doing your thing with the, um, don't put the Prada glasses down. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? They be coming on was, set like on all of this great yeah, stuff. I was, I was just scratching my Yeah, my no, don't put burn, the, not yeah. I'm just telling you because I will take <laughs> I got you. I, got I, you. I, already, I learned my lesson from the other, you know, from <laughs> Sharon. Where yeah. you from? I mean, not where you from. You from L.A. Mm -hmm. How long have you been, um, you know, pr promoting and producing music? Uh, I've been doing music seriously since probably about since 2001. Okay, so okay. Around, and and so what inspires you, like, when your fans, you know, love your work? And how does that make you feel? Uh, it made me feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, just fulfilling my purpose. Uh-huh. What's your genre? Hip-hop. Hip-hop? Yeah. But it's, but it's positive. It's truth hop. Truth hop. Oh, it's yeah, positive, yeah. you know, um, hip-hop music. I have a um, girl group called Caustic Dames. Y'all, you know, check out um, Caustic Dames. Very... Um, Inf inspiring group and mm. I, I love hip hop I, I was one of the first originators in the hood in the Bronx oh, yeah. for hip hop oh, yes wow, when, wow. when I was you know 10 11 years old in okay. 1974 75 and I might have been younger than that but um, <laughs> you know but we we had um, influ influential uh, content, lyrical mm -hmm. content, mm -hmm. and so people don't get it that there's a difference between rap music and hip hop, exactly. and the and the 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 separation of it is is all the content. Mm -hmm. yep. If the content is positive, influential content with you know th that your baby baby sister two years old can look at and your hundred and one mm -hmm. grandmama can look at then that's hip hop. But when you've got that all of the rest of the whatever is going on, that's rap music. So <laughs> there is a difference. Yeah, very yeah. big difference. Yeah. I like to say the difference to me is uh, you know, one is just strictly for financial gain and the other one is, you know, for a little more for the spiritual love craft. craft. You right. Know, you, you know, you love something. I mean, like even my music <clears throat> I wouldn't say that it's all positive because you need negativity for positivity to exist. So I just give my perception, my perspective of what goes on, period. Mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of it, you know, as I've grown as an artist, tends to focus on a lot of inspirational things. You know? okay. but my catalog is deep, so uh -huh. you know, I've grown like, as an artist as well. You know? yes. so, but everything that I've ever done has always been me, my perspective, not anybody else's. So... That's 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 part of hip hop. It's okay. Finding, finding your voice. Right. So you know? you're gonna perform it now. So the the song that you're gonna perform is a positive, influential song because you can't do yeah. nothing else but that on yeah. the arts reporter. It's, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. It, it do what it need to do. It, it do what it do. Yeah. So we're going to go to a commercial break because we're running out of time. And I got to get him on. We'll be right back right after these messages. The Arts Reporter, your Arts Reporter. We'll be right back. Mwah. Mwah. Fame 15. Watching Fame 15. Fame 15. Fame 15. How are you doing? This is Miss Mimi Johnson.net, the triple threat. We are here on the set of Fame 15. We're holding it down at Mark Squared with our photographer, C. Reese. Fame 15.
getting ready to bring you guys a fantastic show. So we're looking forward to January 2014. We're here at Mark Square, Main 15. Hi, it's Nicole Ward here at Fame 15, just doing my photo shoot. So excited to be with the beautiful Althea. We just finished Woo! it, killing it. MyFame15.com Love and champagne kisses Thinking love will conquer all All the shifts in momentum What he saying he feel And what he do ain't consistent Yet you choose to submit Excuses for why he hit you Oh he stressed He just got a lot of things on his plate He didn't mean it Plus I push him with the things that I say It ain't a thing you can say To make me see it your way If it was up to me Believe me I would see that he paid You miscarried over what man's bad day And tried to bury the grief But you were even scared in your sleep I Tried to tell you to leave And you would tell me to keep My mind on my own business Or it would ruin our friendship that's deep. Mm. I could have died, man. I just died. Died. Listen. I've known you for so long, you used to be so strong, independent, what happened to that woman I knew? Vows in this child got thrown in, the child kept growing, and in the mix you gave up on being you, he used to treat you like a jewel, now he treats you like a tool, how he pick you up and use you when he need him to fix, that's why I told you it could either be this time or the next. He gon' sleep your fuck for good if you gon' get out of this mess I mean, you got a little girl She be seeing daddy hurl Fist and insults say, mommy, this is how she sees the world This is how she's seeing life And she grows up being liked By the boys with the nice cars, the clothes and the ice So the first time he hit her, she gon' think that it's alright Cause her daddy used to do it And her mama let it slide He don't love you All he embodies is a body of lies You telling me how he cares But look at your f***ing eye I could've died Damn I just died Just died I could've died Man, I could've died Died I could've died, man, I just died See, I told you, you can use me Anytime you need a night To get away from him Or just to get away from life I told you, you can use me Anytime you need to cry For a shoulder, for an ear, for a hand, for a man It's been going on a year And your daughter's getting better But sometimes she still gets scared And pees in the bed But we working on that Sometimes she asks me, oh, oh When is mommy gonna come back? And I just don't know how to answer that yet Guess in my mind I'm still trying to digest That I'm talking to you brave instead of talking to your flesh See I love you so I'm bitter Cause you stubborn and don't listen Now you're gone, your daughter's missing you And heaven knows I miss you too 
Meet the Williams family. The matriarch, Tyra. Hello, world. The baby, Mimi. Tyra. Hey, world! <laughs> the siblings, sitcom. Meet the Williams family. Meet the baby, Mimi. Hey, world. Meet Junior. Hello, world. Hey, Junior. Hey, Mimi. <laughs> Meet Vanessa. Hi, Mimi. Hey, Junior. Hey, hey Vanessa. Ha, <laughs> ha. She's having a vision. The siblings sitcom. Oh, hi, world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So look, you're logged on to MimiJohnson.net. Thank you so much to my fabulous, fabulous cast and guests. And everybody, I really, really appreciate you. Make sure that you um, contact Miss Sharon Willingham. Make sure you get your baskets from a specialtybasket.com with Miss Benita. And make sure that you go to kdbrogia.com and also mellowcane.com. Go and see y'all perform on um, tomorrow, Thursday the 12th at Hush Lounge in Norcross, Georgia. We're looking forward to that. And we love you so much. You're logged on to MimiJohnson.net, the arts reporter, your arts reporter, where we focus on arts, entertainment, entrepreneurs, and inspirational life stories. Every Wednesday, it goes down right here. Yeah. And on three, we're going to say tartar. One, two, three. Tartar! Tar -tar. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Like a soul that's lost the blues. And I'm feeling very, very good Oh, at last My blues pass And I'm free From the blues that have tortured me And I'm feeling mighty, mighty good 